Okay. We are on the second problem number two of VTU programming in C lab. <coughs> this is a very interesting and simple problem. The problem statement is design and develop an algorithm to find the reverse of an integer number. Okay. Just read carefully. Reverse of an integer number and whether check whether it is palindrome or not. Okay. Implement a C program for the developed algorithm that takes an integer number as input and output the reverse of the same with a suitable messages. An example given is uh, four digit number 2014, reverse is 4102, not a palindrome. So, palindrome is a word or a face or a number. Palindrome is a word, could be a phrase or a number or any other sequence of character which reads the same backward or forward. Okay. Here we are limiting to number, but palindrome is, could be anything. Okay. So let us limit our uh, uh, interest to the number. So here we are, uh, it need not be just, they are not mentioned, it could be any number of digit. It could be one digit, it could be four digit, six digit, but for our convenience, we have many people, I many colleges, we use only four digits. So here, let me take few example. As I said, as, as, as soon as you remember the read the problem, you should make a test cases. Okay? So here, palindrome, you need to remember. That's why I made it a red. You don't have a choice. So what is a palindrome is something you need to remember that whether you read it from backward or forward, it's going to give the same number. Uh, it's going to be the same. So here, one two two one is a palindrome because if I take the last and make it first two two one, it's it's still the same. Three 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 three, obviously it is a, another palindrome. So let's take a two zero one four two thousand fourteen. If I make it read it backwards, so read it backwards is I'm coming from here. So four thousand one four one zero two, okay. Being a number, we have to have a decimal hundred and thousand. So 2014 would be a 4102, which is not. So this is an interesting 2121. Is it a palindrome? It is not. So it's going to be 1212. So let's take 6969. So if you read it backward, it's going to be 9696. It's not a palindrome. How about 8668? So 8668 is a palindrome. So, 1221, 3333, 2014, 6969, and 8668. Okay, let me go through the algorithm uh, of it. So, the algorithm is very simple. So, you read the number n and uh, whether see whether the number initialize the n with a and you for our convenience, we are assuming it is a four-digit number. So, we are not taking anything uh, below or above it. So, in, if n is less than three digit or n is greater than four digit, we are print a not a four-digit number, go to the end. Okay. The examiner can say anything because this problem statement does not say it's a, it should be a four-digit. And this is the core algorithm which is just a six line. But if you write this right, six line, you are done. Okay. You don't need three hours of uh, examination time. You may just need 10 minutes. The core algorithm is un until the input parameter n is not equal to 0, the uh, algorithm is first is reminder. You need to check. You need to take the reminder value and uh, is a basically n modulo 10 will give you a reminder. Okay. If it is 2112, 2112, it will give you the digit, last digit 2. Okay. So, what we are doing is reverse is reverse of 10. So, you are, you are right left shifting the reverse by a decimal point 10 and adding the reminder. Okay. And you divide the n by 10. So, basically what we are taking is here we read this first digit using a modulo of 10. So, I get 1 and then I left shift 
into the reminder by 10 and adding. So, I will be in a loop of 4. So, I take this, move it here. So, multiply by 10. Next one you take 2 and add it and then multiply. So, if you follow this equation or uh, basic algorithm, you, you are going to reverse any number. So, here they have asked for a palindrome, but they could ask a reverse of a number. Okay. This is a typical very popular uh, interview question for refreshers. So, just a while loop and you are done. And at the end, you, what you do is you have saved n as an in, uh, into a variable a. If a is equal to reverse, if both are equal, then it is a palindrome. A or else, it is not a palindrome, print it and get out simple as this. Okay. So, so this is a typical flow chart uh, of uh, uh, flow chart where you are going to read it n, you are going to save it uh, n to a a and reverse you initialize with 0. There is a condition whether it is going to be 3 digit or more than 4 digit. If it is false, it is going to go to the n and the whole thing is just this while loop the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 line. The whole algorithm is 5 lines in which you re, you save it to the num and reverse is 0. The algorithm is digit, what you digit is the last digit. You divide the modulo of number modulo of 10 would give you the last digit. Okay, You save the digit, the reverse is equal to reverse multiplied by 10 plus digits. So, you are moving this and uh, then the number is you you are going to divide the number by 10 so, so the basic number is you take each of the digit put it to the end and shift left by 10 or uh, next decimal to the reverse so once you have reverse you compare with n if it matches then it's a palindrome else it is not a palindrome so this is a quick algorithm. I, I won't spend too much time. So let's take a, a value 2014, and what's going to be the digit? This is the reverse and number. So first, the number is modulo 10. So you're going to get this four, and the reverse is zero. Zero multiplied by 10 plus four. So the reverse got four, four and num divided by 10. 2014 became 2001. Uh, sorry. 201 because it is a decimal, so there is no fraction in this. So, the next one is in the next loop you take number as 201, reverse is 4, modulo of num 201 of uh, 10 is going to be 1 and the reverse is going to be uh, reverse is going to be f uh, 4 multiplied by 10 and you are inserting this one here and num divided by 10 become 20. 20, we are going to insert this 0 back here and reminder is 2. 2, again, uh, we are going to, reminder is 2, we are going to insert. So, 2041, 2014 became 4102. And there is a check here, if both are not matching, you are going to fail. So, the, this simple uh, algorithm, I am just uh, put it step by step. So, let us take 1221. So, it is exactly modulo of uh, 10 is 1 reverse is inserted with the this. So, it became divided by 2, 1, 2, 2. Next time, we get the decimal is 2 modulo of 10, we insert here, push multiply by 10. So, again we get a residue or a modulo of 10 gives a digit value 10, You we take that and insert here. and last is 1, we insert 1. So, 1, 2, 2, 1 and reversed value is also same. So, it is going to be a palindrome. That is it. So, let me quickly walk you through the code. So, whether you use Ubuntu or uh, this thing, the C code and the equation and parsing is going to be the same. So, uh, intentionally this is a decimal value, that is why we have kept it uh, m and n and a reverse and digit. So, what we do we, is uh, print enter an integer value and get those value here. Uh, that is why I have been very cautiously telling you if it is an integer, it has to be a 
percentage T. Okay, if it is a float, you are going to do percentage F. So you have to be very careful and read the value into the M. That's why it is an ampersand. You are giving the address to the scanf. And there's a check here whether uh, the input red value is uh, within those uh, range. And uh, uh, initialize. We initialize. Okay, there is a bug here. I should have. We should have checked with M. So I'll, let me say we read M. So we are, we need to check the uh, if condition should be for the M. If it is f this, you just say exit, terminate the program. So I'm saving the value of M to N here because we need to compare M because M is going to be modified uh, in the uh, while loop. So this you need to be very careful. Reverse has to be initialized to zero. As you see in my slides, we are going to use reverse, multiply by 10, and add it. So this is what we are going to do it uh, to get the reverse value stored into. So digit gives me a module of 10. So whatever the m, the last decimal value, is what we get. We multiply by 10, shift, and get add the digit value and divide m by 10. So with this, I have added a debug just for uh, understanding. You could also, I highly recommend you, you people to add sufficient debugging. So for every while loop, it will print what is the value of m digit and reverse. And it, it would print the, if reverse is equal to n, print it's a palindrome, else it is uh, not a palindrome. So get ch is just a, a trick to make the output console uh, stuck there and visible to you. So let me just quickly compile. So you could see there is no warning, no error, and I'm going to run. So as I return down, my first case is 1221. So here you could see the initial value of is m keeps on reducing one digit by one digit. So 1, 2, 2, 1 became 1, 2, 2, then 12, then 1. But the reverse is going in the opposite. So it is red fed opposite. The Whatever is losing here is going to the MSP here. So it becomes 1, 1, 12, 1, 2, 2, and 1, 2, 2, 1. So both are same. It's a palindrome. So the next problem is uh, 3, 3, 3, 3. Let's see how it is. Obviously, 333, three, three, whether you read from forward or backward, it's going to be the same. It's going to be the palindrome. The next one is 6969. Six, nine. It's pretty confusing, but it is not a palindrome because it is 699. 6969 six, nine becomes 9696, six, nine, six, so which is not a palindrome. And the last one is. 8668. So the 8668, as I see, the m value what we read kept on dividing by 10. So it became uh, four digit to two digit to single digit and zero. And the reverse kept on accumulating from single digit to four digit. And the 8668 is a palindrome. So that's it. All you need to do is just write the flow chart, come back here, and uh, 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 write the flow chart as I shown here. Write a flow chart. The core is just just five six lines of code. If you want a flow chart, but still you should remember it's just a one two three four five five lines of code is what is critical which you remember. You should need to remember everything else is read Fs, scan Fs, and print Fs. That's it. So, this is how it works. So, that's it. This is the uh, end of problem two.